Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome back to the Madden 07 Albuquerque Vipers franchise. Today, we're going to be hosting the Arizona Cardinals. They come into this game with a 1-4 and four record. The Vipers are 2-3 and three and off to a pretty bad start. They did start off last season 2-3 and three as well and went all the way to the Super Bowl, but we definitely got to right this ship. We cannot be losing to winless teams like the Ravens. We lost to them in overtime last week by 3. And the Cardinals are a prime team to bounce back against. I mean, I thought that about the Ravens too, but uh, Cardinals might be worse. Jim Middleton is still their quarterback. He has two touchdowns to nine interceptions. This is one of the worst offenses and defenses in the league, making them one of the worst teams in the league. I have no idea how they already have a win. And uh, we are in some serious danger if we do end up losing this game. Whichever team loses this game is going to be bottom of the NFC West and... Uh, we have not been bottom of the NFC West since uh, the year one when we went 0-16. And if we lose this game, we are off to our worst start since that 0-16 season. Obviously, we were 0-6, where if we happen to lose this game, we'd be 2-4. But hopefully, we can bounce back to 500 and right the ship today. Arizona with the football to start it off. Scott Donaldson picks up seven on the second play from scrimmage. Give it to Donaldson on third down. Justin Williams, the rookie cornerback, is there to shut him down. And that forces Arizona to go three and out. Open in the flat is Vaughn Lewis, and he's going to pick up a quick first down. We're already out to midfield on our first possession. Cross looking to throw off of the play fake, rolling to his right. He's going to sidearm that one, and it just hits the defender and falls incomplete. Cross wants to throw the football again. Again, he's going to be rolling to his right, trying to direct some traffic downfield. Takes a shot, and he is lucky that wasn't picked off. And Cross on the sideline there is slow to get up, grabbing at his right arm. And with Cross's injury history, that is something you never want to see. So enter Dejon Beasley on third down. He throws into some coverage. It gets knocked away, and we're going to have to punt after just picking up that first first down. Arizona's going to start off this drive on their own 20-yard line. It's a toss to the left for Donaldson. Manning brings him down after he picks up nine yards. Offset eye formation on second down and short. Middleton to throw for the first time today, and he's got their second-year receiver, Kyan Cumberland, for the first. Now they come out in the eye, but Middleton again to throw the football. Floyd in this one to the left side. He's got Cumberson wide open. He just beat Justin Williams on that left sideline there and gets in the Vipers territory. They do commit a false start, so it's going to be first down and 15 on this new set of downs. Floyd to the left and nearly picked off by Manny. Second down and long. Middleton steps up into the pocket. He's got Cumberland. That's going to make this a third down and six. Donaldson's in the backfield. He's going to stay in the block. Middleton delivers to Weltley. He's going to be brought down shy of the sticks by Gordon. Barely shy of the sticks. They're going to mark him fourth down in inches, but still shy of the sticks. And they're going to come out and kick this field goal. And they're going to strike first. Dejon Beasley still in at quarterback for the Vipers, but we still haven't heard anything about Cross. No news is good news. Nice run there by Gordon to the right side. And he gets brought down by the face mask. Tack on an extra 15 yards. That's going to get us out to midfield. Flow to the left side for Jamarcus Ward. He brings that one in at the 20. Remember, Phillips is out for a good chunk of the season, so Ward really having to fill in for him there, and he steps up big time, working on Randall Slater, the former Vipers cornerback. Seven-yard run on first down. Give it to Gordon again, and he's got himself the first down. It's going to set up goal to go. First down and goal off the play fake. Beasley rolls right into the sack. And that's going to bring us down to the 13-yard line. Huge loss on that play. And for Orlando Cross, he will not be returning to today's game as he has a broken thumb, meaning Dejon Beasley is going to have to lead us to victory. Beasley's going to throw over the middle for Fitzgerald. The former Cardinal can't hang on to it. So now on third down, Arizona sends the heat. Mathis brings this one in, but he's going to be about four or five yards shy of the end zone. So bring out Koch, another former Cardinal, to put us on the board. And we are all tied up at three apiece. Off the play, fake Middleton has a man wide open downfield. That's Maurice Weltley. Kelly is not going to catch him. He is gone, and the defense bit hard on the play fake. Arizona in the lead just like that. Beasley trying to direct some traffic. Now he connects with Jamarcus Ward, and he's going to be close to picking up a first down. 
Toss played to the right for Gordon following his blockers, and he's got himself a fresh set of downs. There's actually a good handful of former Vipers on this team. Tom Ling there you saw complaining to the referee about holding. And then, of course, they also got Randall Slater, who was with us for a few years. Beasley taking a shot to the right side, looking for Ward and off of his hands. That would have been a huge play, but Jamarcus Ward has had a history of drops uh, for us in the past. On third down, we're going to go to the ground with Darren Gordon. We're a little bit more committed to the ground game, especially now with Orlando Cross out. And we did spend the third overall pick on a running back, so we might as well use him. Nice catch made there by Greg Riddle. Second year running back picks up a gain of seven. Beasley drops back to throw under some pressure, and that's going to force the incompletion. Looking for the third down conversion. Handoff goes to Gordon, and he's going to pick up the first down. He's been pretty consistent so far today, and he had a solid game last week too. On second down, Beasley moving to his left. He's got Jamarcus Ward working his way down the left sideline. Gets brought down at about the 15-yard line, and that's going to put us inside of the red zone. Beasley now fires at the end zone. Touchdown, Larry Fitzgerald, the former Cardinal scoring on the former Viper there as Randall Slater nearly came away with a pick. Instead, we're all tied up at 10. Now Middleton throws in the flat. Pass is going to be picked off. Darren Gordon, touchdown, Albuquerque Vipers. As the pass rush gets there, forces the low throw. And a little bit of an interesting thing here. As soon as Middleton gets up, Daryl Finn and puts him back down on the ground there's definitely some beef between these two teams right now and Fannin makes his presence felt again this time on the play as he brings down Donaldson for a loss of one Middleton off the play fake he's got his man Tony Dawson over the middle and now Dawson is going to be slow to get up and he's going to have to check out of the game he still picks up the first down there though Donaldson's going to take this one right up the gut and that's going to be a solid gain of four Middleton throws over the middle. He's got Cumberland. He spins off of a tackle. He's got himself another first down. Arizona is driving after throwing that pick six. Donaldson takes this one up the middle. Fannin on the stop there. And now Fannin is slow to get up, grabbing at his hand. Another injury in this one. Uh, both teams getting kind of banged up. Luckily for Arizona, Dawson will return to the game shortly, so nothing too serious for them. Working at midfield, Middleton fires this one in the flat. Pass is going to be tipped up in the air by Anthony and just fall harmlessly to the turf. Play fake again, firing this one downfield. Picked off Darren Gordon for the second time today with the interception of Jim Middleton. That's going to put him at 11 interceptions thrown in just five and a half games this season. He is having a historically bad year. Beasley rolling to his right on this next drive. We had Fitzgerald wide open downfield, but he threw that on the move, and that resulted in the inaccurate pass. Beasley wants to throw the football again under some pressure. Pass gets knocked away there. It wasn't even close to a receiver, though. It's going to be fourth and ten, and we're going to have to punt. So now Arizona working with two minutes left to go, and they're going to try to tie this game up before the end of the half. Middleton going five wide. Arizona still being aggressive with the pass despite the two interceptions in the first half. They also have yet to convert on third down today. Middleton's going to throw, and he's going to change that there. Cumberland breaks out of a tackle, and that's going to get them into Vipers territory. The offense starting to hurry things up now. A minute 40 left to go. Middleton under pressure, and he's going to be sacked. Jesse Baker gets in there, and now he is slow to get up, limping off of the field, and these injuries are starting to pile up for the Vipers. That sack will make it third down and 18, and Middleton's going down again. Richard Hutchinson in for the injured Daryl Fannin. He makes a huge play, and Albuquerque's going to use their last time out. But we get pinned pretty far back in your own territory and are unable to convert on third down. So instead of just running the clock out, Arizona has another opportunity to score before the end of the half. Cumberland with the catch, and that's going to get them back into Vipers territory yet again. They've been in our territory a handful of times, but uh, have only scored 10 points so far. Donaldson up the middle. He's got the first down. Arizona down to one timeout. And we have another player. It's not a serious injury, but will not be returning to today's game with Jesse Baker. Still no news on Fannin. Middleton looking to throw. He's got Dawson, and he gets annihilated there. Javon Anthony with the hit, and he paid the price. A huge hit on him, though. 
Middleton is going to be sacked again. It's Hutchinson with his second sack of the last two drives. Third down and 15. They have not been great on third down today. Floated to the left side. It's going to be caught by Maurice Weltley. Dorsey, who's in there for Javon Anthony, missed on that play. And that results in a huge third down conversion. Now Middleton throws to the end zone. What a catch! Wow, Kyan Cumberland just mossed two defenders in the back of the end zone. And that's going to put Arizona up, tying things all up. And now just a terrible, terrible throw there by Dejon Beasley. Throws it to the former Viper, Randall Slater. And there's still two seconds left on the clock. They could attempt a long field goal. Instead, they're just going to try a Hail Mary. Middleton pump fakes and now throws to the end zone. And it's going to be caught by Weltley. I don't believe it. Just like that. We were up 17-10 to 10 with like a minute left to go in the half. And all of a sudden, we're down 24-17. to 17, And we just imploded inside of those last two minutes. We still have a whole half of football left to go. Let's breathe and let's reset. Beasley rolling to his left. He's going to pick up about eight or nine yards on the ground there. That's nice to see. That's going to set up third down and short. Handoff goes to Gordon, and he's not going to pick it up. It's going to be fourth down and inches from our own 35. We did a fake punt from there last week and succeeded, but uh, no attempt here as we just go three and out to open up the second half. Nice run to the left side there as Donaldson picks up nine yards. And then he's going to pick up the first down and more, fighting his way up the middle here. Arizona also has the reigning rookie of the year in the backfield, although he is a little banged up. They got some real good running backs here if they don't have anything else, although it looks like they got some real nice receivers, including Cumberland. He's been just killing us today. Looking for him on this play now, and he makes the catch, but out of bounds. Incomplete fourth and ten. Get off the field. All right, time for the offense to do something here. Throwing the quick slant to Ward, and it falls incomplete. Looking to throw on third down. Beasley's going to try to pick it up himself, and he's got it sliding at the 30. Here goes Gordon as he takes this one right up the gut. And nothing too special there, but, you know, a solid gain of four. If he averages four yards a carry, I'm a happy man. Riddle to the left side, and he's going to get brought down by Tom Lang, just shy of the sticks. Here's third down and short. Give it to Ron White. And the fullback has the third down conversion. We've got to get him more involved in the offense this year. As he's a pretty good fullback. Pass is going to be caught by Fitzgerald on the left side there. Picking up a gain of eight. He's been relatively quiet today outside of his touchdown from the first half. Looking fits his way again. And he's going to get us across the 40-yard line now. Under two minutes to go in the third. Gordon's got some open space. But he can't get away from the first defender. He still picks up seven yards there. We're going to give it to him again, and looks like he picked up just enough to move the sticks. That's going to get us inside of the 30-yard line now. Here's a play fake on the move, throwing for Fitzgerald, and just out of reach. Beasley has had a couple of throws like that this afternoon where close, but no cigar. Looking for Fitzgerald again, and he's got him inside of the 10-yard line. Fitz is really starting to heat up on this drive. That's going to make it goal to go now. Beasley rolling to his right. He has nobody open. He's going to run for it. Fumbles the football. It goes out of bounds, and we're going to be down to the four. Now throw into the end zone. Wide open. Vagin Lewis in the flat for the touchdown. Just his second catch of the game, but it's going to tie it up now at 24 apiece. So now into the fourth quarter, we got 10 minutes to go. Over the middle, it's Weltley with the reception, and Arizona's got a pretty nice duo of receivers. It is no Fitzgerald and Anquan Bolden like they had early in the series, but uh, still a pretty nice duo of receivers for Middleton to throw to. Dropping back to throw, Middleton fires right side, and catch is going to be made by Weltley. They're ruling him in bounds. He drugged the toes. Here goes Scott Donaldson. He's weaving his way through traffic right up the middle. This Vipers defense really struggling at tackling right now. Wide receiver goes in motion from right to left. Donaldson's going to get another carry. A wide open running lane up the middle. Manning just bounces off of him. And Arizona, their offense has just been rolling today. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just our defense is that bad. Although we do make a nice play there. But the Cardinals have one of the worst offenses in the league. But you wouldn't know it by the way they're playing right now. Or, I mean, if we could capitalize on potential interceptions like that too, it would be nice. Their kicker's already hit one field goal today. This one from 50 yards, and he splits it right down the middle. 
So Albuquerque down again in the fourth quarter, but we still have a good chance to go down field, only down by three with over six minutes to go. Fitzgerald with a nice catch there, picks up a quick first down. Now testing the one-on-one -on -one coverage downfield. Jamarcus Ward has it inside of the 20. A huge play there as he is stepping up. Second down as Riddle takes this one up the gut. A nice hole opens up, and that's going to make it goal to go again. Beasley rolling to his right. Doesn't have anyone open. He's going to run for it, and he's going to get rocked, picking up a couple of yards. That gets us down to the five-yard line now. Beasley off his back foot. Touchdown, Trey Francis. It doesn't matter that the pass was off his back foot. He got open enough there. The defender over overcommitted there, and that let uh, Francis get into the end zone. But now wide open downfield, Kyan Cumberland. He just burnt Justin Williams. Can he catch him? Yes, but he breaks out of the tackle. And another one-play drive for Arizona. We have to stop run committing like that. That is like the third time that has burnt us today. Beasley running to the right side, and he picks up a solid gain. But once again, he's forced in a situation where we've got to go get a huge drive. And instead, it's going to be a huge stop by Arizona as they get the sack on fourth down. How do you let a guy that big just go completely unblocked and get to the quarterback? That is a terrible job by the offensive line. So now with under two minutes to go, this defense has got to get us a stop. At least, hopefully, we can force some kind of overtime. Donaldson running, and he's got himself the first down. That is huge for Arizona. Albuquerque's down to one timeout. We've got them to a third down here on a running clock. Donaldson gets away from a couple defenders. Hurdles over another, and he's in open space. John Kelly is not going to catch him, and that is your dagger. Arizona with a shocking upset here in Albuquerque. Donaldson gets away from Eugene Thomas, hurdles over another man, takes it all the way to the crib, and they're going to win by 10, 41 to 31. Arizona has one of the worst offenses in the league, as I've already stated a couple of times, but our defense made them look good. I mean, Jim Middleton, two touchdowns coming into today's game, and he throws four of them for the easiest touchdowns you're ever going to see, too. I mean, he had guys wide open downfield. Dejon Beasley playing a quarterback was not the reason we lost today. He almost had 200 yards and three touchdowns. That one interception was really bad at the end of the half, but cross being out is not the reason we lost. The ground game was good in the first half, but really got shut down in the second half. Um, receiving wise, I mean, Jamarcus Ward almost 100 yards. Fitzgerald has some nice receptions. The offense wasn't really the issue here, although uh, uh, we did have a total of four drops, three of them coming from Jamarcus Ward. But this defense is atrocious. Daryl Fannin, he's going to be missing eight weeks, so he is supposed to come back the same time as Charles Phillips. And that is with two interceptions from Darren Gordon, including a pick six. And we still gave up 41 points. And a lot of that is on me with the, those terrible, terrible run commits. I get in a bad habit of doing that sometimes. And yeah, we we are off to our worst start since the 0-16 season now at 2-4. Well, as we take a look at some of the other games that took place this week, Pittsburgh remains undefeated. New England drops to 4-2. Tennessee with a huge upset here over Houston. Maybe not a huge upset, but a huge win, as that's going to put them in the driver's seat in the AFC South. Dallas wins in overtime, and they're really turning their season around after a bad start. They were 1-3 at one point, giving two wins in a row now after beating the Falcons in overtime by 3, 22-17. And then Seattle doing what teams are supposed to do against bad teams. Big Ben comes out here and throws five touchdowns in a 48-10 victory over the winless Vikings. I mean, that is how we are supposed to play in games like against Baltimore and against the Cardinals. But no, we are just playing some bad football right now. Mostly defensively, but also offensively. I mean, like I said, the offense wasn't the reason we lost, but still, it's just very, very frustrating. And then Ray Dawkins gets a huge win on the road in Lambeau, 27-21. to Well, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, leaving a like is always appreciated. But until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.